Tenatato Katoa, good evening. New Zealanders, you've got a big decision to make. The government has put up five different transport options for a new harbour crossing, with a promise there'll be spades in the ground by 2029. The plans include crossing designs for buses, trains, cars, cyclists and pedestrians. But as Kathaki Masalamani reports, there are already doubts about whether the government can actually deliver. Auckland makes no secret of its favourite gripe. Leave home just before seven and hope to avoid the traffic, but it's been getting really bad, so it is taking a bit longer. It just backs right up and you can be two to three hours from home. Traffic's just getting worse and worse, like, you know, the, uh, the main roads are clogged at like 7.30 in the morning. With the bridge, definitely. We definitely need something to uh, ease that congestion, for sure. Q Prime Minister. It's time to get started on a second harbour crossing for Auckland. The government is promising a linked up city and sooner than expected, bringing forward the timeline by 11 years, promising to start work in 2029. When it's finished, the new connection will provide for a fully multimodal solution for people wanting to travel across Te Waitemata. There are five different options. They all include light rail, they allow for cars, cycling and walking. They'll take a look at a new tunnel, a new bridge, a new bridge and a new tunnel and balancing what the old bridge can do with something new. But this is an election year, so will the plans last even if the party in charge doesn't? The main opposition party um, made a commitment to a second harbour crossing, um, so unless they're going to change their position, I'm confident that we'll get cross-party support for it. Well, about that. They haven't been able to deliver major infrastructure projects and this is just another announcement. I think it's a political opportunism. We need an option that's going to work for Auckland and the climate. None of these options will. There are little details in the way of costings and timings, but for those routinely stuck bumper to bumper, spades of eagerness for action and quick. Well, kia ora Kethaki. So who exactly gets a say on this and how do they do it? Sam, everyone gets to have a say. You'll be able to do so starting today all throughout the month of April via the NZTA Waka Kotahi website. And the preferred option will be announced in June. And with that will come further details, hopefully, about the timings and the cost of this project. Kethaki, thank you for that update.